Yeah, the, the idea of this evening's meeting is to ask local people what they think should happen to the BAE site at Woodford. What we want to know is what their views are, what they think are reasonable uh, development proposals, what they think are things that they would feel are uh, unreasonable. Okay. One of the, one of the uh, men- you just mentioned was a mix uh, residential and a uh, commercial site. It, how did the ca- council come to that, that decision? Well, our view is that both uh, residential accommodation and also commercial sites are needed. And I think, by and large, we're we're past the days when uh, we needed to totally separate uh, residential and commercial uses. Um, Much of uh, today's employment is through very clean technologies, through the use of the internet, through the use of new technology in general. So we see there's been an opportunity here of having uh, residential residential and commercial developments sitting side by side in a way which is really helpful and really quite sustainable as well. I mean it's a big issue in this community and uh, I think most people do agree that whatever happens to the site in the future what we don't want to see is something that damages in any way shape or form the unique characteristics of Woodford Village and that's very important certainly my priority but again as we heard earlier um, it would appear now from the Prime Minister's answer to my uh, parliamentary question yesterday that uh, the decision about uh, whether or not more aircraft might be commissioned from this site hasn't yet been taken. So as far as I'm concerned, whilst there's still an opportunity to safeguard those jobs, even if it's only for another 18 months or so, there's still 1,100 people employed here at the site and I intend to continue to do what I can to support them. Mm. But I'm pleased the councils take this initiative and call the meeting at the start of the process because it's important people have the chance to have their say before the rumours and speculation and that kind of thing take over. Well, as I outlined in my presentation to the meeting, as a company we have considerable uh, experience in dealing with site closures and working closely with the community to make sure that we exit the site in a way that suits both the interests of shareholders and community. Tonight was our our attempt to assist Stockport Borough Council in achieving that as part of the consultation process. Now you say obviously it's going to be interest of the shareholders, and that kind of indicates does that involve money? I mean, is this the best, best interest of the community, or what's going to be the most commercially viable? Or our, our experience is that, and we have considerable experience in this area, that we find a way of best uh, meeting the responsibilities and, uh, towards both shareholder and community. Mm-hmm. We have a track record of success in this, and we'll contribute to the process again. Are there any kind of proposals you're, you're favouring at all? They've mentioned a mixed use of residential empl- employment. So. We own the, the, the site. We have uh, no vested interest currently in how the site is used. Mm-hmm. We are going to work with the council uh, until they identify the uses to which the site can be put, mm-hmm. and I will work with them to, to deliver that, that result. Uh, Mr Hunter mentioned the uh, <laughs> prospects of uh, three more planes possibly being built there, another 12 to 15 months. Is that something you'd, you'd favour, or do you think maybe the process yeah, should we, close at 2012? No, no, we have been working very hard supported by uh, both Mark Hunter and uh, Nicholas Winterton Mm -hmm. to get these extra three aircraft. Uh, Our current position uh, from the Ministry of Defence, from the Minister himself, is that this uh, contract will not be awarded to BA Systems, Mm -hmm. and it's on that basis we have decided Mm -hmm. to make this announcement. We have, however, continued to lobby to change that decision, but as I said in the meeting, that would simply defer the the, the inevitable closure of Woodford by 12 to 15 Mm -hmm. months. I mean, you know, as working at BA, is there anything you'd like to see on the site? Is there any particular plans you'd, you'd love to see happen to the... You can't work in this industry, uh, as, as I have done, without generating a sense of history. Personally, I would dearly love to see the sustainment of some aircraft activity at Woodford, but it is highly unlikely in the economic environment. Right. Thanks very